What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Subscribe or die trying. Um, you see the thumbnail. You got to excuse me for a second. Um, but what was basically going on today is I did a video about toxic raising toxic daughters. And now I got to do a flip side of that. You know, did you raise a, did you raise a sorry son? And I was thinking about this because at the end of the day, <clears throat> as parents, you know, we don't want to admit that you know, some of our children, we raised them to be sorry. And the reason why I say that is because a lot of things that, that have gone on in the last 20, 30 years have gone on because we're, we're not parenting correctly, you know, and that becomes a bigger issue. So since that becomes a bigger issue, we got to talk about it. And what I'm, what I'm, what what I'm getting at at this particular point is we're at a juncture where what did, did you teach him? Did you ha give your son a work ethic? Did you give your son a uh, logic? You know, cause, and, and I'm not going to act like uh, these kids don't rebel, but there comes a point where even if they rebel, if you give them these things, they're going to have, they're going to implement them as adults. But some of us, did, did you turn your son into a fashionista? Is your son wor worried more about what they dress than what they can become? You get what I'm saying? I gave you sneakers. I gave you outfits. I, I, I let you do all your little hairstyles you wanted to do. But now that you became an adult, now you, but you're lazy on purpose because you don't want to go out into the world and be grown. You said you want to be grown, but you don't want to be grown. And I'm going to, as your parent, I love you so much. I'm going to let you be lazy because I was too lazy to teach you. I was too lazy to be on you. I was too lazy to push you. So I let you be sorry. And instead of giving you, you know, giving you books or audio books, I gave you video games to pacify you. I let you watch cartoons and, and movies all the time, you know, as a learning tool. I didn't sit you down and teach you learning lessons. So now, you know, did I create a sorry son? When there was information that you needed to know, I didn't tell you, even though I knew it. Because I didn't want to hurt your feelings. I didn't want to put you in a situation where you felt some kind of way. I, you know, did I create a sorry son? And then I take it a step further where there comes a point where you got to ask yourself the question. Am I right for not teaching my son how to be a responsible adult or how to teach him how to be a man? Am I right for when he turns 18, 19, 20, I'm tired of that sh the lazy shenanigans and I throw him out on the street? Because I know I didn't prepare him. He knows I didn't prepare him. But now the lifestyle that he, he, the lazy lifestyle that he can't afford is a lifestyle that I created for him. It's a lifestyle that he's living, but now he's got to live it on his own dime. And now all of a sudden you, you, you have these drug addicts and mental issues. Is that him or me? See what I'm saying? So now we got to ask that question. Did I do this? If, if I tell you, hey, these are your options. You're going to go to college, you're going to go to military, you're going to go to a trade school. If you can't do any of that, you got to go. Or, or, or is the option, do whatever you want, I'll always love you. Did you create a sorry son? Did you give them anything to do? Did you, did you give them a competition? Did you, did you have them go out there and compete against other people so they can see that other people are doing stuff with their lives because they want to be good and great at something in life. So sleeping all day is not going to cut it. Watching TV all day is not going to cut it. Did you create a sorry son by letting, by, by feeding them junk and letting them eat junk and pacifying them and, and, and not even cooking with love? You get what I'm saying? Or, or, or letting them, drank sodas, you know, all day long without giving them water? Did you teach them how to be lazy? Did you teach them how to be sorry by you coming home after a hard day's work? You decided to be sorry. So they don't understand you're tired from work because they're just, they just see you tired and they get to be tired. 
Did you make them cut the grass? Did you make them as the yard? Did you make them sell lemonade? Did you, did you make them, uh, um, how can I say this? Shovel snow, depends on where you at. Let's just put, did you make them do chores that made them work? And a lot of parents don't want to say they didn't do that. And because they don't want to say they didn't do that now, when they go out into the world, it's an issue. Did you did you make your child entitled and not, and and now they're snarky just like I said the girls were and then when people people have to address them because they're spoiled brats and they think the spoiled things that they do in your household they can go in, out into the world and do. Did you create a sorry son? Because now they they're entitled with you now they go out into the world entitled and they're a grown man and entitlement ain't gonna work with grown men. See what I'm saying? So. And thus some of these relationship relationship complaints with these women. Did you create this guy? So tell me what you think. Like, share, subscribe, or die trying. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace.